There's only one way to get control of that in your airflow and it's with UV lights because UV handles germs, handles bacteria, and handles viruses. None of these can survive when they hit UV. So the challenge in our industry is air is moving pretty fast. Uh, 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 when it comes through your system, it's moving very fast. So to control these germs, bacteria, viruses, it needs to either be killed or it needs to be disrupted. So uh, on our UV lights that we install in systems, we have what's called a radius around it, which is the kill zone. We call it the kill zone when it's near the lamp. And we also call a spot around it the control area because it, when that bacteria or the virus or the germ flies through the UV space, uh, it disrupts its DNA so it can't reproduce. Uh, that is really the main challenge. When you look at any of these, is it's always reproducing. So you want to you want to kill it, uh, disrupt it, so it, that doesn't happen anymore. So regardless of if it's in the kill zone or the control area, we can take care of it with UV. Uh, to prove this, uh, if you want to go outside, uh, if you're ever in scouts or if you ever heard anybody talking about the north side of a tree has moss on it, well, it has moss on it because there is no direct UV sunlight to it. Uh, so if you think about the north side of a house, it's usually if they have brick, they have things growing on the brick. Uh, if they have siding, it's probably greenish in that area. It's because UV doesn't hit that spot. It doesn't kill it. Uh, if you go to the other side of the house where the sun does shine, uh, you won't see that happening because, again, those things can't grow when UV is present. It's not possible. Um, you know, we all have that that mat that's wet at the front or the back of the house, that little mat you put your feet on. Uh, if you want to prove my point, go to the middle of the yard where you have good sunshine, stick that mat in the yard, and it will be dry. And it will be free of the green stuff because it cannot grow when UV is present. So when you have a damp, dark place like your HVAC unit, uh, the only way to control what is coming out of that space is the power of the sun, the power of UV. 72 trillion allergens enter your home daily. Hey guys, Derek Cole here, and have you ever wondered about the air in your home? What are you breathing? What is your family breathing? Uh, what is causing allergies and asthma? If you ever had any of those questions, you're in the right place. This is the free five day healthy home challenge. We'll give you a step by step guide. Five days, five videos, five emails, worksheets, even a quick start guide so you can understand what is in your air, why it's in your air, and what you can do about it. Click the link below and join us inside for this free training so you know the air you're breathing.